Hello, this is Matt on the Moon Lambo channel. Today, XRP hit $1.54. i tell you what, I know what I hate, and I don't hate that. In fact, faces, they're not in full-blown melt mode, but they're starting, like the haters' faces, the Bitcoin maxi trolls, their faces are starting to drip a little bit, like like wax. They're not in full blown melt mode now. XRP once it's it's hitting its all time high, anywhere there about, you will see that there's going to be all sorts of haters' faces that are just completely melted. It's going to be disgusting. There's going to be these puddles of face goo all over all over the pavement and inside of your the stores you shop. Here, here's a fun true story. Um, earlier today, and this is because XRP ran up to where it ran up today, a dollar fifty-four. I was at my local Walmart, um, and and so some of the, the like the quote unquote people of Walmart, they're not actually people, uh, they are Bitcoin maxi trolls. And so I was at the local Walmart, and I was looking down. I was like, "What is this? There's like this little droplet of this gross looking vomit stuff." And I got closer. I leaned in, and I was like, "Is what is it? Is this vomit?" I was like, "Oh no!" Once I got closer to it, I could see. No, this isn't vomit. This is a little piece of melted face. It had just melted off from a, a, an XRP hater. And so I followed the little droplets, and uh, and and sure enough, the, I get to this aisle. Is the uh, the, the aisle that has the. Uh, the, the canned spray cheese, the easy cheese, and there was the Bitcoin maxi troll just rambling on like, nah, 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 Bitcoin, nah, 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 no rip off, da, 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 spray cheese. Da, da. And then it waddled away, went around the corner, and went to the cottage cheese, and I could hear it murmuring again, nah, 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 XRP, God, nah, zero, nah, 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 cottage cheese. Because you're in the, the, the refrigerated section with the cottage cheese. And he's going, nah, 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 cottage cheese too cold. Because nah, nah, nah. their favorite food is cottage cheese, but it's got to be room temperature. And so, like, uh, and it was amazing because it, just these little droplets. And, and I'm telling you, these Bitcoin maxi trolls will not have faces when this is all said and done. They simply will not. And XRP, in fact, wait till you see what I have to share with you from some of the uh, analysts that I follow. This is going to be fun one because, well, first of all, I'll, I'll tell you this right at the outset. One of the most popular XRP chart analysts out there says that in the short term, you absolutely should be looking at close to $2 for XRP. Um, it's also going to be fun in this video to highlight some of the uh, some of the haters out there, what they have said about XRP and how they have responded to uh, some of the XRP community out there. Because I'll tell you what, a lot of their tweets out there and what they've said in public and just crypto media... <laughs> It's aging like a fine milk, like a fine, fine milk. Now, I do want to be clear at the outset, I don't have a, uh, a financial background of any kind. I am not offering financial advice, and you definitely should not buy or sell anything because of anything that I say or write. I'm just an enthusiast who makes YouTube videos as a fun hobby, talking about Ripple and XRP and crypto stories and uh, apparently spray cheese, because why the hell not? This is my channel, damn it, I do what I want. If you don't like it, you can get out. Now, as I record this, XRP is at $1.50. Man, I don't mind seeing that. Bitcoin, just a hair over $60,000. A market cap, a little over $2 trillion. And Bitcoin dominance continuing to slide 53.61%. Holy freaking hell. By the way, have you seen this too? XRP, number four in market cap and creeping its way on up the chart. That's it. I don't think it's done there yet. Just... Just wait. <laughs> there's there's more to come. I mean, if it's here, like, here's why I look at it. XRP, the last market cycle, it was flip flopping back and forth between the number two and number three position at times, and it's barely got it gotten started at this point. So even if we do see a retracement, which is is certainly going to happen at some point, I don't know. I mean, like, it's not unreasonable to think we could see XRP at less than a dollar at some point. But and I'm not trying to scare people, but this is just how crypto markets work, mind you. I wrote XRP from twenty something cents up to almost $4, back down uh, after a long period of time. There's lots of, uh, you know, action in between, but down to $0.11, cents and uh, all the way back up to where it is now at buck fifty. And I never sold a single XRP. So, like, to me, it's like, okay, whatever. But, but you just for, for those of you that are new, you got to understand, if you just bought recently and you're new to these markets, you, you, must under, you must understand, this is the most volatile asset class in the world. If you don't got your mind right, you might make some emotionally based decisions that might not be good for you. So I'm not telling you to buy or sell or hold. I, I would encourage you to remove emotion from the, the equation and make your decision based on data and logic. Have a, have a plan in place. Um, and also, by the way, the Spark token, uh, it's now at a buck 64, had a 24 hour high of a buck 70. So it's just kind of interesting to see. That um, <laughs> XRP and Spark both hit one dollar and fifty-four cents today, and I know this is just the IOU, but still, both Spark token and 
and XRP hit were at $1.54 in the same 24-hour period. It's just amazing to see that. And so XRP, can you remember Martin Volk put out the following, which just it, just, it got me thinking a little bit. He wrote, imagine being an XRP hater and having to go through all this, then having to do it all again once Spark Token goes live. <laughs> Exactly. Well, I because look, we'll see. Because who knows how many exchanges the Spark Token's going to get traded on? But uh, do, do we not think that it's going to participate in the market? I mean, as long as it's being sufficiently traded, and I don't know what platforms it'll be traded on, other than like uh, BitTrue and what was the other one? Poloniex, I believe is a bit. I believe it's just BitTrue or is that right? Yeah, I think it's BitTrue and Poloniex that are are currently trading the Spark Token IOU. So I don't know in the future what other exchanges are going to have it. But man, uh, these Bitcoin Maxi, like the troll, they are not having a good time. And I think that many of them really believed what they said. And it's just fascinating to me because if you're a chart analyst, you should have known better. You should know. And if you don't know this, what I'm about to say here, like shame on you for not knowing this. It's not even about XRP specifically. The market moves in tandem. XRP is part of the market. So outside of scam coins that are legitimately um like uh, exposed like for instance you can think bitconnect bitconnect you know remember that guy the on the bitconnect it's a fun time watching those memes kind of miss those but uh, other than actual scams like that the market's just going to move together there is nothing scammy about xrp everything that's happened over the last eight plus years it's been in broad daylight full transparency ripple has been very clear about what they're doing nothing weird going on there nothing to see Yet all of these analysts are so many with hundreds of thousands of followers that were encouraging their followers to dump XRP when it was at 17 cents. I, it, I mean, okay, like you do you, girl. I'm just saying, like it, it's a complete denial of reality. I, I get that, and I've acknowledged this. Acknowledged this like, yes, it's more risky holding XRP while there's, there's this litigation going on, which um, I'll, I'll talk more about a little bit later in the video. I, I, I acknowledge that. But it didn't change the fact that XRP, 90% of it, uh, of, the, of the volume, it's outside the United States anyway. Like, people are just going to speculate on stuff. It doesn't have hardly anything to do with fundamentals. Almost nothing. It's it's provably the case that the market, it just, it all moves in tandem, not down to the, the, you know, the second, the minute, the day of the week, the month, the quarter, whatever it may be. But they are moving together. And so there was this tweet now from Harry, uh, at Geraldo XRP on Twitter. Uh, he is famous in the XRP community for having called the beginning of XRP's rally last market cycle that took us up to almost $4, and for also calling the very top of the cycle, January 4th, 2018, uh, That's that that was the uh, day that XRP hit its then all-time high of almost $4. I think it was, unlike CoinWatch, this $3.92 was the high, and uh, then it's been coming down ever since then. And here's, here's what Harry wrote today. XRP full send for the standard. Target's now clearly in the $1.96 region. Damn near $2. Don't mind seeing that in the least. Um, take a look at this now from Leb Crypto. Um, one of these tweets, I think I shared the top one yesterday, but uh, there's, there's three here, or I guess four. Yeah, there's four here leading to the most recent one from today. And so, uh, by the way, as I record this, so it's April 10th, it is 11.09 p.m., in case anyone's curious. I sometimes like to mention that when I'm making these videos about price, because things happen quickly in crypto. So your future people, even if it's just a little in the future, you know more than me already, so I'm jealous. Anyway, XRP short term, this is from uh, Chart Analyst Love Crypto, XRP short term. Price coiling within triangle, and so we have two scenarios before us at this stage. Bullish idea, head to pennant. A target 1 to 1 FIB extension around $1.36 level. And so this is yesterday before we had this most massive run up today. Uh, that's what he was calling for. A bearish idea retest the golden pocket, lots of support there. My bias remains bullish either way. And, and so he did think that it was more likely than not that we'd be heading to the positive, which we did. He was right. He's been making all these calls. And so mind you, too, for those of you that are, are new to crypto, when, we're, when I'm covering stuff from chart analysts, they're not they're, these are not um, like predictions necessarily cast in stone it's about probability of outcomes and so what you'll find is that good analysts they won't be right about what they suspect will happen 100% of the time because that's impossible but a chart analyst that is good you'll notice that in terms of the percentages of times they're correct it'll, it'll be notably more often correct as opposed to incorrect but even the best chart analyst it's just in terms of what is probabilistic 
but it, but it doesn't mean for sure things are going to go that way. If you know, it's the same concept as if you sit down with like the best poker player on the planet, you could beat them the first time you play against them, but play with them against them enough, and you're going to find that you lose the vast majority of the time. And so similar similar conceptually here, it's it's that it's it, there's 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 I don't I want to use the word luck, but there's just a, there's a certain amount of um, like like metrics and occurrences just outside of the control of the chart analyst that you, you just you can't ever know with 100% certainty you can feel more confident or less confident depending on what's going on but that is what's going on here so it's not like they have crystal balls here and then uh, love crypto wrote uh, after that tweet decision made direction confirmed yellow clear one dollar and fifty cents uh, 15 cents and it's a full send to one dollar and 30 cents which we ended up uh, hitting and we obviously blasted through that and then just 11 hours ago Leb crypto wrote i believe we're very close to putting in a local top at least in the short term target almost hit and then he did right here also folks i'm just sharing my analysis in real time please do not ask me what to do whether to buy or sell i may be wrong as every single call is based on probabilities never certainties Exactly. And uh, that's why I always appreciate, too, when there's not enough clarity in the charts for chart analysts to uh, reasonably uh, suspect what is going to happen. I always appreciate when they're like, yeah, there's not enough data there. You'll see that from Love Crypto. You'll see it from uh, from Credible Crypto also. You'll see it from the blockchain backer. Uh, the analysts that I like to follow regularly, that's the, the, t like the caliber of chart analysts that they are. They're, they're more frequently right than wrong in terms of what they suspect will happen. Which is all I really ask, you know, of any decent chart analyst. And when they don't know, they just say they don't know. They're not trying to just impress people. They're just being real. And that's why they have the followings they have because they're tr they're trusted. I trust them anyway. And I don't expect them to be right about stuff. And I know they're not offering financial advice. It's just interesting to track this stuff. Um, here's a tweet from my fellow XRP YouTuber, the Blockchain Backer. And this was um, this was like 12 hours ago, buddy. This is 11:40 a.m. But it's still an awesome tweet. And because we, we saw even more upward price action after this, but it doesn't matter. Let's check out this tweet. XRP has risen 36 cents today. 36 cents. Then he wrote again, 36 cents today. <laughs> right? All of that. Now think about that. Because it, what was it like uh, eight months ago or something like that? XRP had been trading sideways forever around the range of what, like the low 20 cent region. And it would go up a few pennies, go down a few pennies. If we were lucky, it got up to 30 cents. And now in one day, it moved up 36 cents at the point in time that he tweeted that. Now, since then, I don't know what it would be. Uh, probably over 40 cents here. We can take a look here. Here, the 24-hour low for XRP. Actually, it says it up here, doesn't it? Yeah, $1.10. So, yeah, up 44 cents at one point inside of 24 hours. Like, <laughs> that's more than what XRP was worth eight months ago, you know? Like, <laughs> I just love seeing this stuff here. Um, all right, and then there was uh, there was this. I wanted to highlight this. So my fellow XRP YouTuber, Jungle Inc. <coughs> Excuse me. I think I talked about this on my channel. Um, if not, I was definitely aware of it. I know the blockchain backer talked about this. But Jungle Inc. on January 18th this year, he uh, publicly shared this. That he, he, um, he sold 13.6 ETH, which at the time collectively was worth $16,853. It's on the screen here you can see. He, 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 he sold that and bought 58,431 XRP. And this was what, with all the scariness of uh, what was going on at, at uh, the time with the SEC going after Ripple. And yeah, we still have that, but it was even less certain back then. And so he, he shared that that's what he did. And he wrote on January 18th, I fully expect to get smoked in the short term, but I believe 28 cents XRP with ETH and LINK that just about doubled in value will be a win. So he, to be clear... He was taking profits from ETH. I don't know how long he had hold, held it, but it had rallied a good amount to that point. And so he thought that there was a, you know, more juice to be squeezed from XRP. And so he put it into XRP. And then this was retweeted by somebody named Jules, who he retweeted this from Jungle Link and wrote, Rekt, R-E-K-T, because clearly Jules thinks that's a horrendous idea. I wonder if you'd be saying that today, my friend. And so, for fun, today, 11 hours ago, Jungle Link retweeted Jules, Jules tweet from January 18th saying that uh, Jungle Link was wrecked, and then <laughs> clearly we know what happened today with the positive price action, and Jungle wrote, wrecked back at you, buddy. <laughs> and then the blockchain backer responded to Jungle and wrote, I always thought this was a genius move when you did it. And, and I did too. And I wasn't, I wasn't buying more XRP at that point. I haven't purchased XRP since October because it, it's, it's my largest holding at this point in time. Uh, by a good bit. 
Um, and I just, I just felt like if I didn't stop for me personally, I was, I just, I have a serious problem. So it was time to diversify further. And that's what I've done. Um, so for me, even though I, I, I continue to think then, and even now that XRP was always going to be worth more, uh, for me, there are other factors to consider, including di diversifying. Uh, I do think that's important because I'm, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm smart enough to know that I'm, I'm stupid enough to screw stuff up. And, and I know that this is going to be messy. And it, it, there's no way that this is going to magically unfold, you know, every single thing in my favor. And I don't know for sure how this is going to, to pan out exactly. So for me, diversification was something that I waited heavily after buying a ton of XRP. So that's just me. Uh, and then Blockchain Backer wrote this just several hours or so ago. Uh, closed the day at $1.37 and we keep on moving. We're out of the pit, everyone. Such a long wait, but we're out of there. Uh, and then there was this from a popular chart analyst named Cantrin Clark, who has uh, 47,900 followers. And he's clear. Like, I've covered it on the channel. He's, he's fine. He's popular for a reason. Uh, but he's another analyst that doesn't like Ripple, doesn't like XRP. And he's another one of these guys that said XRP is never going to go above a dollar. And, uh, and so 14 hours ago, he tweeted out the following. So this is from today. As XRP moves up, Ripple fans finally celebrate getting back to break even after averaging down for two years. Um, yeah, so th that's quite an assumption. I mean, for some people, maybe this is their break-even point, $1 or $1.50. I don't know if that's true for most people. Probably not at this point. Um, you know, I, I I think my average buying is somewhere around uh, 25 cents. So, no. <laughs> um, and then somebody who uh, clearly is not a fan of XRP named Ada Nakas, or Ada Nax, I don't know how to say that, responded to Cantor and Clark and wrote, Someone's going to screenshot this and ask you to apologize the next time it's scam pumps. Yes, every time XRP goes up in price, it's a scam pump. It's not, of course, that XRP just moves with the rest of the market. No, 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 no. This is a scam pump when it goes up. Okay, buddy. Cantor and Clark wrote back, I think it's funny. After public displays of a clear lack of risk management in averaging down, I would say at best the most extracted out of this pump for many Ripple holders is a 2x. Look at this, still looking down on the XRP holder here. I, and and, just, and just forget for someone like me, and you know, I'll just share my tweets on the screen. Let me let me share this. First of all, credible crypto. Uh, who has over 150,000 followers now, po very popular chart analyst, responded to chart analyst Cantor and Clark after writing that snide remark and said, buying at the lows of a bull run as an investor is different from averaging down on a leveraged long with no risk management. Clearly anyone who bought at the bear market bottom is doing just fine. Yeah, which would be me, by the way. See, and I responded to that and I wrote, I think my average purchase price for XRP is about 25 cents. I bought as low as 15 cents a year ago. Are we pretending there aren't XRP holders like myself that have been at this for over three years? Of course there are. And I know there are people new, in which case, welcome to the XRP community. Uh, it's that's, uh, you know, This is the best community in all of crypto, just so you know. So like, there's plenty to learn, which is why I encourage everybody to jump on Twitter, even though it's accessible, if for no other reason, just to engage with the XRP community here. But uh, it's just the disparaging like remarks and the, the way that clearly XRP holders are looked down upon by the elite Bitcoin maxi holders. I'm just like, ah, that's gross. No, 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 no. All of your faces are going to continue to melt. They're dripping right now, and it's gross. Like, your, your face is falling off in little pieces, little chunks. Looks like vomit when it hits the ground, and uh, it, you're just your entire face will become melted. It's it's not good. It's not good. Um, and then there was this. Here's another analyst who said XRP would never be over dollar. This is Cheds, who has uh, 92,200 followers, and wrote, uh, XRP Army taking victory laps on me for my never over $1 again call. Do not realize I am happy for them. Uh, is he, though? Maybe he is. I'd like, I'd like to take people at their word. Maybe he is. However, some of the stuff that he had written in the past makes me kind of question that. Credible Crypto, in fact, responded with the following because a year ago, Credible Crypto and Sheds, they had a bit of a back and forth, which I'm going to highlight because now that we have the benefit of hindsight and we know that Credible Crypto was right and Sheds was wrong, it is fun to look at this. Um, and so look at this. Credible Crypto wrote to Sheds today in response to that and said, just dropping this here as a reminder. And he's got some screen grabs I'll share with you. Uh, the last time I expressed my views, you called me one, shameful, Two, a snake oil salesman, and three, said I was leading my followers to slaughter. In your words, quote, we all get it wrong sometimes, but you should have known better, 
end quote. Yikes, man. Uh, and, and look, I think it's totally legit to talk about this stuff. There are some people that that um, have this idea of like it's like just being childish and rubbing rubbing that you know rubbing it in their faces, this and that. Here's my honest perspective about this. Like these people, they've been crapping on XRP forever, and I don't I don't hate them as people for that. I don't hate people or dislike them for having opinions that are different than my own. I just think they're wrong. But if they're going to tell hundreds of thousands of people, which many of them are, many of them have followers, like hundreds of thousands of followers, if they're going to say at, as, as XRP is at a low of 17 cents, that that's it and it's going to zero and scare people enough to get them out, like, do you think they deserve a free pass? Or can we not just acknowledge, hey, just so you guys know, it's worth, it's fair to talk about this. The call was wrong. Here's what has actually happened. Now XRP uh, went from 17 cents a few months ago to over $1.50. It's probably not done. It's perfectly reasonable to talk about that. If they're going to tell hundreds of thousands of people that stuff, then we have uh, we, we certainly have the right to uh, be adults and tactfully point out what's going here. And I'll admit, like some of this, the, the predictions are so far off that it, it legitimately makes me laugh. But I'm laughing at the prediction. It's not like I'm coming at the people that made these horrible predictions with some sort of venom. I just think it was a really bad call. And some of them are so bad. Yeah, I admit it kind of makes me laugh a bit. But people need to be aware of this. They have massive followings, and they're just pretending like, because they'll tell you too. I think I bet most of them would say, "Yeah, the market moves in tandem, tandem, except XRP." What the hell is that? That's ridiculous. And so here you can see Chad's wrote, "Be careful with those targets, sir. Twitter has a long memory. Wouldn't want to to tarnish your reputation." That's what Chad's, who said XRP would never go above one dollar said to Credible Crypto on April 25th last year, 2020. You don't want to tarnish your reputation. Credible Crypto responded April 25th, 2020, last year. LOL. My reputation is the last thing I'm worried about. You should be concerned about yours, though. Cheds responded. So says the guy pumping XRP. Got it. Laughing my ass off. Credible Crypto responds. Oh, yes, I am single-handedly pumping the third largest crypto by market cap. LMFAO. You give me way too much credit, bud. Either that or you're forgetting to use that thing called logic again. And then Cheds responded. Logic tells me you are too smart to believe your targets and know you are leading lambs to slaughter. My 100% honest view, and I think it's shameful. So think about that. Credible Crypto, by, by sharing his opinion, which is just his opinion, that XRP was going to be worth substantially more leading lambs to slaughter, but Cheds saying XRP would never go above a dollar, is that not leading lambs to slaughter? Is it? Is it not? So you can say the negative stuff that, that maybe would impact people and they'd sell, but you're okay and Credible Crypto's not because you're already proven to be wrong to this point so far. And we'll wait until we see the all-time highs get it, which I suspect will happen. And then uh, Cheds also wrote, you said the exact same thing uh, maybe a year ago with your $38 target. Now you have scaled back. At some point, just admit you were selling snake oil and move on. And by the way, there's a separate thread, but uh, Credible Crypto did not predict $38. Cheds was incorrect there. And so we're still on April 25th of last year, 2020. Credible Crypto responded and wrote, I have maintained $20 to $30 for a while. Of course, I can't see into the future, so I most definitely may be off. I am not selling anything. My words don't make me money. I am posting my opinion as I always have. I don't attack others for their, their beliefs. That's the difference. And indeed, it does look like Cheds was attacking Incredible Crypto. I mean, things like snake oil sales, salesmen, a leading lambs to slaughter, not like a gentleman's disagreement of, I disagree with you, I don't think that will happen. You're leading lambs to slaughter, he says. Selling snake oil. These are insults. And we're not supposed to highlight this when they're wrong? Mm -mm, no, no, no. And I'm not doing this with Venom either, but people deserve to know this stuff. All right, and Jim Cheds responded to that and wrote, Look, not going to beat a dead horse because this is a hard one for you to defend. I'll just say we all get it wrong sometimes, but you should have known better. There you go. There it is. You should have known better. You had no right to say this, Credible Crypto, making these wild predictions. Uh, this is crypto, guys. <laughs> like, the, the steps of returns are par for the course. And Credible Crypto wrote, I'll admit I am wrong when I am wrong. I am not wrong yet, LOL. You should know better to assume you are right when neither of us can see the future. And, uh, and then Cheds ended up blocking today. Uh, blocking credible crypto and there's no apology and no admitting that he was wrong nothing he just blocked credible crypto and uh, here's another one from credible crypto to wrap that part of this up 
He wrote, last I'll say on this, the irony here is incredible, lol. Ched says it's BS and crazy to blame him for people selling the XRP bottom because of his tweets, yet I am leading lambs to slaughter because of mine? Also, I never called a $38 target, lol, this guy has lost it. Uh, here's another fun one. You guys, you, <laughs> check this out. Check this out. Here's a tweet from DIY Investing. One of these comments is from a guy who bet me $10,000. Uh, dollars that XRP wouldn't break all-time highs, it's definitely breaking all-time highs. And we've yet to hit the all-time highs, but I, I personally believe that it's coming. I could be wrong, I acknowledge that too, but I firmly believe that it's coming. And this comment from DIY Investing was a retweet uh, from uh, from uh, Keemstar, who uh, notably, I'm sure many of you in the XRP community are aware, he bought 1 million XRP and he spent $276,000 doing it, and that was just a few months ago. After the SEC news, uh, he, he spent $276,000 on $1 million. And so he, he tweeted this the other day, and I believe I highlighted this, um, or maybe I, maybe I didn't highlight this. Or, or maybe I just tweeted it. That's why it was in my mind. I think I just tweeted it. Um, but anyway, uh, he wrote, uh, my $276,000 is now worth $1,150,000. I'd say that that's a, that's a nice run-up. <laughs> now check this, though. He got all sorts of crap for doing this. And he, he, he shared here some of the people that uh, thought that he was a complete idiot for purchasing XRP. Yeah, so here, this was January 17th when Keemstar did this. Uh, January 17th, 2021, and he wrote, I am not a financial advisor. I am a degenerate gambler. May the crypto gods be with me. Let's win slash settle this lawsuit and see $2 XRP. And then somebody named Empty Beer Bottle retweeted that and wrote, It's actually going to zero. If I was an XRP bag holder... I would hate to have this guy on my side. Let's share another one. Uh, here's another guy that retweeted the same Keemstar tweet named Beeb and wrote, Book title, How to Piss Away $270,000. These are all aging like a fine milk. You gotta love this. Here's another one. Retweeted the same Keemstar tweet, somebody named Tano, and wrote, This is not going to age well. No, your tweet about that not aging well is not aging well. <laughs> Oh, this is a good time. Uh, here's one from High on 33 retweeted the same tweet from Keemstar and wrote, LOL, people actually follow this dude and listen to what he has to say. Facepalm. I can't believe I have to say this, but don't buy Ripple. Well, he didn't buy Ripple. That's a company. He bought XRP, but, you know, he's using the terms interchangeably. This is a good time, guys. Oh, my gosh. And then DIY Investing wrote this. I'll be honest, guys. Full transparency. When XRP got sued, he means Ripple, but he wrote XRP, and it was 23 cents, I was pretty nervous. Uh, while noticing my anxiety, and then told myself, quit being such a wimp. I'm uh, censoring it for the potential chillrenses in the background. So he said, quit being such a wimp. And then I market bought 105,000 XRP. So he made a big purchase there too. Long story short, if you're scared, you should be buying. That's the tweet from DIY Investing. And, um, and yeah, I've admitted too, like when this news came down, I was not feeling so hot about it. And it was, but a big part of that was just because I didn't have a good way to figure out what was likely to occur. And I don't like not being able to sufficiently research, but not having a law background and not being privy to the behind the scenes stuff. I, I, there was so much uncertainty back then. There's a lot more certainty now, even though it's riskier to hold XRP than before all this still. Uh, but I have strong convictions. And so I, I, I just continue to hold. But uh, th th I'll tell you what, this is just this has just been a blast watching all of this stuff and seeing all the, the 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 backtracking from all these XRP haters, seeing the faces starting to drip, looking like little vomit tr chunks on the ground. Uh, it's and this is just getting started. Even if we have a pullback, which you know should be ready for at any any given moment, I don't know when it's going to happen, but just anticipate there will be a big pullback. It doesn't mean that XRP is going to zero. This has happened 11 billion times before. And it's going to continue to happen. There's this just a volatile asset class, but at some point, uh, you know, it's going to take off even more parabolically. It will hit that two dollar mark, then the all time high, and who knows? There's so many analysts that think we're going to hit at least ten dollars this market cycle, and many think that it'll be more like twenty to thirty dollars. And so it's early here. This is a fun time. This is the, I'll tell you what, XRP has been around over eight years. This is the best time in history to be an XRP holder. This is the best time. Uh, market's going to run so much higher, I believe, this market cycle than last one. So there's just so much potential out there. But let me know what you think below. I love diversity of thought. I am not a financial advisor. Do not buy or sell anything because of anything I say or write. That would be a very, very, very bad idea. Until next time, to the moon, Lambo.